something. I don't know. Something in this. There's, there's a woman's a voice. There's a change. There's a change. Starting to feel a little heavy in here. Kind of has that. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of a. He it was a heavy feeling, like somebody else is here with us. Take a spin through Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and you will see many historic spots where some of the bloodiest fighting took place during the Civil War in July of 1863. In the center of town, you will also find something else, the historic Gettysburg Hotel at 1 Lincoln Square. So it was built in yep, 1797. It was originally called Scott's Tavern, um, built by uh, James Scott. Over the years, the hotel changed ownership and names until finally becoming the Gettysburg Hotel. Originally, the hotel's ballroom served as Gettysburg Bank in 1814 and was in business until 2000. The vault, well, it's still in the ballroom and now used for events like weddings. Supposedly, this area is haunted by a spirit named Rachel. We hope to grab a dance later on with her, maybe even running into one of her ghostly friends in the hotel, too. Well, just people said that they've seen this and that and want to know, you know, what room's haunted and if I've seen any in the hallways and so forth, and I haven't personally, but some people look kind of terror look on their face like they might have seen something. Many historical figures have stayed at the Gettysburg Hotel, including Frederick Douglass, Ulysses S. Grant, and President Dwight D. Eisenhower. We are in the Eisenhower room right now dedicated to, obviously, uh, former President Dwight Eisenhower. Um, he was a very frequent guest here at the hotel, him and his wife, Mamie. He did um, have um, a heart attack, and basically the Gettysburg Hotel served as a second, I guess you could call it a second White House, basically. Um, so he stayed here and kind of commanded from the hotel, um, as well as on the farm. The President and First Lady were the last guests to stay at the Gettysburg Hotel before it closed down in 1964. A fire in 1983 badly damaged the hotel, but thanks to funds raised by Gettysburg College, the hotel reopened in 1991. The hotel is certainly majestic and apparently haunted. The Unexplained Cases team brought our cameras, EMF meters, spirit box, and other high-tech equipment to search out spirits in the hotel's basement, a supposed hotspot for paranormal activity. And wow, it was dark. No lights on in there, and you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. While part of the basement was used as a bank vault decades ago, today it is a spot for storage. Maintenance worker Dennis Smith says it is one spooky place. Yeah, well, one of the contractors was in here working on the boiler room behind me, and he, he said one of, somebody grabbed him, but he was the only one in there, and he, he took off out of here. He said he wasn't going to go back in there at all. I, I think they, the ghost saw he was slacking, so they... Told him to go. Okay, we're down here in the uh, Gettysburg Hotel in the basement, uh, trying to make contact with spirits. We pulled out our spirit box. We're going to ask some questions and see if we get any responses. Is there anybody here with us? Can you tell me what year it is? Were you here during the Civil War? Something. That's almost sound like yes. Can Can you tell me how old you are?
Are you from Gettysburg? So I'm like, sure. That's, Maybe? Yeah. All right, so I'm recording again. Okay. Is there anybody here with us? I have a device here in my hands that you can speak into and use this to try to speak with us. Was that it or was that upstairs? That was something on that. And use this to try to speak with us. And use this to try to speak with us. And use this to try to speak with us. Can we buy coffee upstairs? Did you work in the bank? Sound like yes, didn't it? Maybe it wasn't a banker, but Rachel, who danced her way down to the basement to say hello. Do you like to dance? Are you in the ballroom? Something, I don't know. Something in this. There's, there's a woman's a voice. There's a change. There's a change. So it feel a little heavy in here. It has that, uh, I describe it kind of a head. It was a heavy feeling, like somebody else is here with us. Part of the basement includes the old bank vault. Rick went roaming around in the tight quarters with his EMF meter. That was me. He got a quick hit, a possible change in the electromagnetic field, maybe a spirit, but it didn't last long, going silent for the rest of our investigation. So I pulled out my digital audio recorder in a secluded spot of the basement in hopes of capturing a disembodied voice from the dead. All right, this is an EVP session at the Gettysburg Hotel. We are in the basement of the hotel. If there is anybody here, could you please tell me your name? Did you work here in the hotel? Did you happen to fight in the Civil War? Could you please tell me what side you fought for, either the Confederates or the Union Army? Unfortunately, the ghost didn't say anything. Yeah, not a peep. So while we had some hits on the spirit box, heard a few weird sounds, and got that heavy feeling in the basement, I believe we can't 100% say for sure that the hotel is haunted. But we can attest to that the Grand Hotel is beautiful, an iconic piece of Gettysburg to be enjoyed by historians and visitors. Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Darren Dito.